This is our national pear recipe competition, and it's the culmination of me teaching at 50 different culinary schools across the country. And when I finish teaching, all the students all over Canada have an opportunity to enter a pear recipe. The five culinary students here today are the regional winners from across Canada, showcasing their original pear recipe and hoping to win the grand prize of $2,500. I'm from Nova Scotia and I'm making a pear and goat's cheese ravioli with wilted Swiss chard, uh, pear butter sauce and parsnip chips. Everybody back home is rooting for me. My entire school was so excited that I got to go and we're all just thrilled that I'm here. I'm cooking today a pear beignet. It's like a pear donut stuffed with diced pears and a sweet goat cheese. I love dessert so much. I mean, I could be so full and still eat a dessert. The hardest part is finding out which pear you need to use because there's so many varieties, different flavor profiles, different textures. I'm doing a pear stuffed shrimp. It's wrapped in prosciutto. Uh, it's accompanied with a warm apple and pear vinaigrette. I wasn't used to it, but now uh, every time I see a pear, uh, I want to uh, imagine a, a new recipe. So it's fresh and it's uh, natural and uh, it's different than apples. Basically, I've just been prepping for the last couple hours and uh, right now I'm just kind of anxious. Just want to get this over with, you know, find out who's the winner. We're going to have each one of the judges uh, the dishes were presented to a panel of judges who tasted and commented on each one. The grand prize winner was British Columbia's Francie Rudolph, a student at the Art Institute in Vancouver. I was surprised. My heart was beating like a hundred beats per minute and I just walked out there and I wasn't really, I couldn't really hear anything, you know, and then I just heard BC and then it took a minute to register. It's like, that's me. <laughs> In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. Um, I hope it comes through my dish.